This right here is the Tourbox Elite. In a nutshell, it's a controller to help us edit faster and more efficient inside Adobe Premiere Pro. And I want to do an entire dedicated video about this thing today, which we haven't done before on the channel. So I want to hear from you guys. If you enjoy this kind of content and would like to see more product videos in the future or not, leave the feedback in the comments, guys. Now, Tourbox is sponsoring this video and they have provided me with a couple of talking points. However, I do stand behind everything they want me to say. Otherwise, I wouldn't be making this video. I strongly believe that this is a great product and value for money, which is the reason why I'm bringing it to the channel. So the Tourbox Elite is more than just a controller. They've packed so many features into this thing, which of course is because of the software Tourbox console. We can connect it through either a cable, but that would be a pity because we've got Bluetooth. In fact, it has dual channel Bluetooth, which means that we can connect the Tourbox up to two computers simultaneously. So if you also have a laptop, you don't have to worry about the whole connecting and pairing thing. The Bluetooth 5.1 would also allow them to add more possibilities in the future, so I'm really curious for that. Now, once it's connected, you'll start to hear and feel the haptic feedback, which we can even adjust or turn off within the Tourbox console, as well as adjust the speed, and I think that is a great feature. Now, talking about the buttons, they feel very good, very premium and solid. There's an anti-fingerprint coating on it and the layout is surprisingly very good. When I took it out of the box, it looked very random, but once you start to edit with it, you'll notice that the buttons are positioned very good for your left hand, your right hand, and even when holding it as a gaming controller, which it's not even designed for. But you'll see that I have a great use for it. Now I've got the ivory white version. They also have a classic black and special edition smoke black translucent. So that is what it is. Now, what does it do? Well, from the Tourbox console, we can start assigning actions to each button. We already have a few preset layouts, and as you can see, the Tourbox Elite works with other Adobe apps as well. In fact, it works probably with every creative application out there, and you can make your presets automatically switch by the type of program that you open up. But since this is a Premiere Pro channel, we're gonna focus on that. We're not bound to one layout. We can have one for editing, one for color correction, audio, etc., and we can easily switch between those that are checked with a star through a press of a button. Their handy overlay HUD shows to which preset we are switching to. And there's another HUD which shows the arrow buttons and what they do. At first that's very handy, but once it's muscle memory you can of course turn that off. The default Premiere Edit layout allows you to play back your footage, we can use the dial to go back and forward more precisely, add a cut, remove a clip, zoom in and out the timeline, and more. But personally, I don't really like the default layouts. So from the top of the preset list, we can import another layout, which can actually be found on our website. These are all community created presets, or we can create one ourselves. Now interesting is that we can both assign regular key bindings to a button, but also specific specific actions from within Premiere Pro, such as using the slide tool to move clips within an edit. But where the Tourbox Elite is really going to shine is through the color correction controls, as I still find that one of the most time-losing processes. You don't even need to have telemetry panel active. I can instantly make any color correction, even advanced tools like those from the HSL secondary or the color wheels in Match. And during such a color grading process is where I can see myself lean back and hold the Tourbox Elite as a gamepad. Using the buttons on the right, I jump to the next or go back to the previous clip. I can then use the scroll to scrub through the timeline, I choose a color adjustment with the arrow keys, and then with the dial I make my adjustments. Now unfortunately, due to certain limitations, we cannot change every setting. Except if you were to create a macro, which essentially makes anything possible, such as changing a LUT, which normally takes a few mouse clicks. Well, I'm going to head over to the macro tab, create a new new macro and call it Rec709, which is one of the LUTs that I have. I can then create an action such as the mouse action, and I will choose the left mouse button, set the coordinates to where the mouse needs to click, and hit OK. I'll then add a second mouse click action and set the coordinates to my Rec709 LUT from the menu. And now when I press that button on the Tourbox Elite, it'll perform that entire mouse action and add the LUT to my clip. So I think you guys understand now why I would lean back and hold it as a gamepad. I don't need my mouse or keyboard anymore for basic color correction tasks, plus 
it goes faster. The one last thing I'd like to mention is a third tab that we can find back when assigning a button action, which is Tour Menu. Basically, we can create a custom menu in which we can play specific short keys, any of the macros I created prior, or a specific Premiere Pro function. We could even choose the look and the size of that menu and where it needs to appear. And now anywhere, even outside of Premiere, we could bring up that custom menu with a tap of a button. And that is what the Tourbox Elite is all about. They currently have a Kickstarter running for this product. It's already funded by far, but you can still hop on to get that early discount. And if that Kickstarter is over, you can probably find all of the information back on their website. I'll leave a link in the description down below for all of the information, and I really hope that you enjoyed the video, although it was something different. So definitely let me know if you want to see me do this more often or not. Thank you so much for watching, thank you Tourbox for the support, and as always, stay creative.